Top Ongoing Mega Projects in Kiribati This is Kiribati, a small island nation in the Pacific Ocean. Yes, the country might be small, but it is home to some major mega projects. In this video, we'll take a look at the top ongoing mega projects in Kiribati and discuss their impact on the country. Number 12. Ted Baikanabu National Stadium. Ted Baikanabu National Stadium is a new national stadium now under construction in Tarawa, Kiribati's capital city. It is expected to be finished shortly and will be Kiribati's largest stadium. The stadium will seat 15,000 people and will host football, rugby, and other athletic events. The stadium is being constructed on the site of the destroyed T. Baikanabu National Stadium in 2019. The new stadium will be a cutting-edge structure with a FIFA-approved surface, a 400-meter running track, and a variety of other features. It is intended to provide a significant boost for sports in Kiribati, as well as a factor in attracting more tourists to the country. The stadium is being funded by the government of Kiribati and the Asian Development Bank. Number 11. Kiribati International Airport Kiribati International Airport is a large airport development project now under construction in Bonriki, Kiribati. The project, which is expected to be finished in 2025, would increase the airport's ability to handle bigger aircraft. This will enhance tourism and trade in Kiribati, as well as making transit to and from the nation simpler. A new runway, terminal, and other facilities are being built as part of the airport development project. The Kiribati government and the World Bank are funding the project. Number 10. Kiribati Water Supply Project The Kiribati Water Supply Project aims to enhance the island's water supply. The Asian Development Bank is funding the project. New water wells, pipelines, and treatment plants will be built as part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2028. The Kiribati Water Supply Project is critical to the health and well-being of the country. Kiribati is a remote island nation with intermittent water supplies. The initiative will contribute to the country having a stable source of clean water. Number 9. Kiribati Coastal Protection Project Kiribati's Coastal Protection Project aims to preserve the island's coastline from increasing sea levels. The World Bank is funding the initiative. Construction of seawalls, breakwaters, and other coastal protection measures is part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2027. The Kiribati Coastal Protection Project is critical to the future of the country. Kiribati is a low-lying island republic whose shoreline is under threat from increasing sea levels. The initiative will aid in the protection of the country's infrastructure and people from the consequences of climate change. Number 8. Kiribati Renewable Energy Project The Kiribati Renewable Energy Project aims to expand the island's renewable energy resources. The United Nations Development Program is funding the project. Solar, wind, and water power facilities will be built as part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2029. The Kiribati Renewable Energy Project is critical to the future of the country. Kiribati is significantly reliant on imported fossil fuels, and the project will assist to lessen that dependency. The initiative will also aid in lowering the country's carbon footprint. Number 7. Kiribati Education Project The Kiribati Education Project aims to strengthen the education system in Kiribati. The Australian government is funding the initiative. The project comprises new school building, teacher training, and curriculum development. The project is expected to be finished in 2030. The Kiribati Education Project is critical to the development of the country. Kiribati has a youthful population and the initiative will contribute to the country having a well-educated workforce. The project will also help to improve education quality in Kiribati. Number 6. Kiribati Fisheries Project The Kiribati Fisheries Project aims to strengthen the country's fisheries sector. The United Nations Development Program is funding the project. New fishing vessels, fish processing facilities, and research facilities are also part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2035. The Kiribati Fisheries Project is critical to the economy of the country. Kiribati is a tiny island country with a vast exclusive economic zone. The initiative will aid in increasing the country's fish catch and creating jobs in the fishing industry. The initiative will also aid in the preservation of Kiribati's marine resources against overfishing. Number 5. Kiribati Infrastructure Project The Kiribati Infrastructure Project aims to strengthen the country's infrastructure. The European Union is funding the initiative. 
The project entails the development of new highways, bridges, and ports. The project is expected to be finished in 2032. The Kiribati Infrastructure Project is critical to the growth of the country. Kiribati's infrastructure is deplorable, and the project will assist to enhance connection and make it simpler for people to travel and trade. The initiative will also contribute to economic growth. Number 4. Kiribati Tourism Project The Kiribati Tourism Project promotes Kiribati as a tourist destination. The World Tourism Organization is funding the initiative. The project entails the development of new hotels, resorts, and tourist attractions. The project is expected to be finished in 2033. The Kiribati Tourism Project is critical to the economy of the country. Kiribati is a lovely country with a lot to offer visitors. The initiative will enhance Kiribati's tourist industry and produce much-needed money for the government. Number 3. Kiribati Agriculture Project The Kiribati Agriculture Project aims to increase agricultural productivity in Kiribati. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization is funding the research. Construction of new irrigation systems, storage facilities, and agricultural research centers is part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2034. Kiribati Agriculture Project is critical to the nation's food security. Kiribati is a tiny island republic with little farmland. The initiative would aid in increasing food production and making the country more adaptable to climate change. The initiative will also serve to develop jobs and enhance the livelihoods of Kiribati's rural populations. Number 2. Kiribati Health Project The Kiribati Health Project aims to strengthen Kiribati's healthcare system. The Japan International Cooperation Agency is funding the initiative. The project entails the development of new hospitals, clinics, and training facilities. The project is expected to be finished in 2031. The Kiribati Health Project is critical to the health and well-being of the country. Kiribati has a multitude of health issues, including hunger and infectious illnesses. The initiative will aim to enhance healthcare quality in Kiribati and reduce illness burden. Number 1. Kiribati Climate Change Adaptation Project Kiribati Climate Change Adaptation Project is an effort to prepare Kiribati for the effects of climate change. The Global Environment Facility is funding the study. Construction of seawalls, breakwaters, and other coastal protection measures, as well as the creation of drought-resistant crops, are all part of the project. The project is expected to be finished in 2036. The Kiribati Climate Change Adaptation Project is critical to the future of the country. Kiribati is a low-lying island country whose survival is threatened by increasing sea levels. The initiative will aid in the protection of the country's infrastructure and people from the consequences of climate change. These are just a few of the top ongoing mega-projects in Kiribati. These projects are having a major impact on the country, and they are helping to ensure that Kiribati remains a thriving nation in the years to come. To learn more about these projects and to see how you can help, be sure to check out the links in the description below.